What comes to mind when you think about used coffee grounds? For most people, answers to this question will probably involve words like brown, damp, garbage, or waste. Our story today has to do with this very question. The key difference is that our protagonist answer gave birth to a company that was just valued at $100 million. If you haven't guessed already, we'll be taking a deep dive into Frank Body's rise to the top of the skincare industry. A Strange Request Our story begins in a small cafe near Melbourne, Australia, owned by one of our protagonists, Steve Rowley. You can often find Steve working in the cafe, taking orders and making drinks. To him, coffee grounds were something used to make coffee and then got rid of. It was as simple as that. One day, Steve was working the till when a woman approached and made a strange request. She asked Steve if there was any way she could get her hands on some of the cafe's used coffee grounds. Steve was intrigued and asked what she wanted them for. She told him that she needed coffee grounds for a DIY coffee scrub recipe she'd seen on a blog. Steve thought the request was weird but didn't dwell on it for long. Over the next few months, customers kept coming in and asking the same question for the same reason. After the third or fourth time, Steve decided it was time to do some research into coffee scrubs and the people who made them. He and his fiance, Bree Johnson, sat down with a friend, Jesse Hotzies and began to research the bizarre trend that Steve had stumbled upon in his cafe. What they found was a market that was searching for simple, all-natural beauty products. The friends noticed a distinct lack of companies catering to this all-natural skincare crowd. They decided then and there to fill that gap in the market. They emptied their savings account and with $5,000 to their names, they got to work building a skincare brand that was committed to honest communication, natural ingredients, and sustainable practices. Building the brand In the beginning, the three friends did everything by hand. They used to spend hours at their kitchen tables ordering ingredients, drawing packaging mock-ups, and testing different recipes. After about six months, they had a product they loved, the original coffee scrub. Now it was time for a name. They wanted their brand name to reflect the values that their product represented. Clarity, simplicity, and honesty. They settled on Frank Body. The next step was finding customers. With less than $5,000 in the bank, this proved to be a challenge. Frank Body just couldn't afford to run the kinds of ad campaigns that usually get brands noticed. The team eventually realized that social media was a free alternative to advertising that could give them all the exposure they needed, if they took the right approach, that is. To start, the Frank Body team sent samples of their coffee scrub to any makeup artists, beauty bloggers, and influencers who would respond to their DMs in the hopes that they would introduce their followers to Frank Body. This proved to be effective, but as more and more people began using their product, the team realized that their customers could be their greatest marketing tool. To capitalize on it, they launched the hashtag, hashtag Let's Be Frank, for their customers to use when showing off the product. The company started commenting on many of these posts as Frank, and even featuring some on their main page to encourage engagement. To date, over 100,000 people have posted photos of Frank Body products. That's a lot of reach for a $0 investment. With a solid social media following behind them, the Frank Body brand really began to take off. The demographic of their customers, mostly 20 to 30 year old Instagram users, and fun persona made them a perfect match for stores like Urban Outfitters and Mecca. With the help of brick and mortar retailers, Frank Body was quickly generating nearly $20 million in annual revenue. Being Frank It's easy to look at Frank Body and assume that its success is due to the quality of the skincare products it produces. While that's definitely a factor, it's not the biggest factor in the company's $100 million valuation. A lot of Frank Body's success is due to Frank, the brand's most successful and flirtatious ambassador. Frank is the name of the brand persona developed by Brie and Jesse, and his voice is what truly sets Frank Body apart from the competition. Most skincare and beauty brands rely on sciencey language and jargon-filled descriptions to sell products. If you've ever seen a shampoo ad on TV, you know what we mean. They're filled with buzz phrases like contains hyperhydration sachets or now with advanced anti-aging technology. Frank is different. He doesn't try to impress you with big words. He makes cheeky jokes while laying out the product's ingredients and uses in plain English. To illustrate the difference, here are product descriptions for two body lotions. One lotion is a name brand and the other is from Frank Body. Let's see if you can tell which is which. Number 1. This hydrating body lotion is formulated with aqua cactine and Pro-V vitamins developed by the Swiss Vitamin Institute. And number two, 
Meet my smoothing AHA body lotion. I'm a mess-free, chemical body exfoliant for skin so ultra smooth, your clothes just might slip off. Oops, I'm lightweight and non-sticky for skin that's softer than a baby's bum. The second description probably stood out to you as far more unique, engaging, and personal. That's the power of developing a brand persona as unique as Frank. Every piece of communication becomes something that rewards the customer's attention. Entrepreneurs can learn a lot from Frank and the team behind him. He drives home the point that consumers love it when brands take calculated, creative risks. Think about it this way. Without logos and branding, 95% of the marketing materials you see on a daily basis could have come from a single company. Being part of the minority with a truly unique voice means that people who see your marketing material will leave feeling refreshed and intrigued. Hopefully, the story of Frank Body's rise to the top has inspired you to think creatively about the way you run your business. It's okay if you don't have the resources of an industry leader. You can still carve out a piece of the market if you're willing to take risks and think outside of the box with the ways you market your products.